Hello everyone. Welcome to this new session of College Humo. Today we have three ISI students with us and I would uh, like you to hear from them about life at ISI, subjects offered, placements and all of that. So uh, guys, please introduce yourselves. Rajat. Yes. Uh, so hello, uh, my name is Rajat Jain. I completed my undergraduation from Scottish Church College. I'm currently pursuing MSQE from ISI Kolkata. And I'm also the placement representative, one of the placement representative of ISI Kolkata. So this is me. Thank you. Aditi. Hello, I'm Aditi Tiwari uh, from uh, Indian Statistical Institute doing MSQE. Uh, I'm in second year. This is what? Uh, hi, my name is Rishabh Gupta. I did my undergrad from Symbiosis in Economics, and I'm currently pursuing MSQE from ISI, and I'm in my second year. ISI All, right. All right, great guys. So, um, so quickly for the students who are listening to you, let's uh, start about how is life at ISI. आपकी तो आधी offline थी, आधी online थी. तो अब तो शायद offline हो गया है. We are the online days are past us, hopefully. So, what do you expect as a typical day in ISI to be? Okay, so a typical day like uh, so. I'm, uh, I will talk about the uh, offline, okay, about, about the offline days. So it's quite fun here. Uh, uh, it's like mostly uh, you wake up and you just uh, go and attend your classes. And after that, if you if you are a studious guy or a girl, then you just uh, you you have the full opportunity to interact with the with your professor. They are quite friendly. They are quite interactive. Like I think this is the best thing about ISI Kolkata or ISI Delhi so, uh, compared to DSC, where we have like three uh, hundred students and to uh, whatever the teacher student ratio is. And if you are not into studies and you are into placements, so then you have a it's a very fun place to be. Uh, you can interact with most of the students. Uh, you can play. Uh, badminton you have the badminton court you have the football ground uh, you can do whatever you want uh, you can hang out outside you can live the city life so this is uh, i say kolkata like uh, i think the best uh, you have the hostel room here like you you have a single room so you have all the privacy uh, full internet connection and everything uh, all the infrastructure you have right here at i say kolkata so yeah this is the life here right aditi So um, I mean I don't have a different answer than Rajat, but yeah, uh, like we wake up and we go to the classes, interact with the professors, we interact with the friends. After coming from uh, the college, like it's very near. It's in the campus only. We uh, we hang out. We play badminton. We play many games, and then uh, we can just study together and discuss things, and even study on our own if we want. So here there is full freedom of doing whatever we want to do. Like uh, it is up to us uh, how we take it, how we manage our time. So like this is what is a typical day in our side for mm. me. Rajat, are there tutorials after classes in case you need extra help from professors or anything? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we can contact the professor. Uh, we can call them anytime you want. Yeah, we can get a appointment or a few of the professors. You can call them anytime. Uh, so, uh, they. I mean, yes, everything is uh, available here. So. I mean, they are I mean, available I, in our I, WhatsApp also. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? So I mean, yeah. I mean, there's no such thing as tutorial classes or something. I mean, just few. We have. We are only eighteen to nine. I mean, fourteen, fifteen students in a batch. so just go and directly meet the professor and just uh, get our doubts cleared so is as simple as it is so there's a lot of one on one interaction with the professors because we are small in batch so we get to uh, raise our individual issues with them we can go to their office uh, which is on the 6th floor of the main academic building so okay. they are always there usually so aapka aur matlab kisi particular professors ka sabse special bonding ho jata hoga like if there's a subject you are interested in so every professor must be having like their preferred students and that would i think where really help in placements if you get to make a personal bond with even one or two teachers 
that should really help in your uh, PhD if you were applying for a PhD abroad or anything. That would really, really help you if uh, professors have a personal interaction with you. Yes, exactly. So, I mean, uh, somebody like a uh, few months back, somebody asked me why why ISI Kolkata. So, at that time, I replied that we get stipend here. <laughs> that was a very dumb answer. <laughs> but actually, the best thing about ISI is that, yeah, the, the bonding which we have with the professors. I mean, there are so the, there are a variety of professors, like there are young professors, there are very old professors, even the old professors, they're also very cool. So you can interact with them in a very fun way. And uh, I mean, so yeah, exactly. That's the thing. The bond, So the bonding thing with the uh, professors, I think, I, I believe that might help. That will help you with the uh, PhD, LORs. Um, uh, they are very I, supportive. Uh, like they are very supportive regarding any doubts, any, uh, like, even if you're confused about doing a PhD or a placement, they will, uh, like, push you towards PhD especially. So, uh, they are uh, really very supportive if you if you are tilted towards PhD. And never mind, they don't even mind if they are going for placements, but they encourage us to do PhD. And uh, if we want to do it abroad, they will give us uh, full support. So, yeah, in that case, ISI is very good because we are small in numbers. So, open discussion is okay. I mean, even if you're strongly for uh, placements, it's not that they are, uh, you know, they would uh, they would not like that. right? They want us to pursue PhD. They want us to get into academia, of course. But then uh, they probably hope that probably one, two years down the line, after we get a job, we might return to uh, the academic world but yeah they are very supportive in terms of guiding us on how to read papers and how to approach our LORs especially from the economic research unit which is the economics department where mm -hmm. most of our professors are there because for PhD from MSQE uh, uh, we have to essentially target the professors from the ERU so there are some professors where you ideally take a project under them in the third or fourth yeah. semester. You do a okay. research project under them and then eventually that converts into an LOR. Okay, so that every child has to do or is that optional that you have to do some research so, project? So the first two semesters, you there is no such optional course as such. If you are an exceptional student or if you think you have the time, you can obviously approach a professor and ask if you want to unofficially assist on a project. That will not come, that will not count as a credit course for the first two semesters. For the third semester, we are offered a project that you can choose a project under any professor. So, but and then that and suppose you don't opt for a project in the third semester. For instance, I didn't opt for a uh, project in the third semester because I wanted to sit for placements. So in the fourth semester you're, you can sit for a project. So like in the fourth semester I've taken a project with a microeconomics professor. But if some, someone has taken a project in the third semester, they have to and if they happen to take another one in the fourth semester, it has to be a thesis. So if you're if you're done with a project in the third semester and if you want to continue it in the fourth semester it has to be a thesis under the same supervisor. Okay. And um, Aditi, what are the kind of subjects that are offered and what was your favorite subject also to study at ISI? Ma'am, actually, um, like there were a lot of diverse, uh, I mean, uh, diverse subjects that we were taught first semester game theory and uh, I mean, statistics, computer applications, so sort of those things. And in the second semester, we had micro, macro and um, time series and eco tricks the third or uh, the third semester we had uh, eco tricks methods and applications and uh, also some other subjects were offered like sampling survey was there in the second sem sorry in the third sem also we were offered uh, uh, um, am i missing something we were we were offered international economics we were offered yeah, uh, uh, economic uh, so in the third <laughs> semester I think uh, every semester is like a uh, a balance of some statistical subjects and economic subjects for instance third semester we have we, we studied arrows and possibility theorem which was in social choice theory incentives yes then we, then we had a subject for, Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Do we bata the subjects? 
ओके तो बेसिकली थर्ड थर्ड सेमेस्टर का हमारा इकोनोमेट्रिक एप्लीकेशन था फिर आईसीसी था जिसका हमको फुल फॉर्म पता नहीं टू बी ऑनेस्ट इंडिविजुअल एंड कलेक्टिव चॉइस इंडिविजुअल एंड कलेक्टिव चॉइस एक्जेक्टली और और भी कुछ सब्जेक्ट्स के नाम अभी याद नहीं आ रहे पता नहीं क्यों बहुत ही बारे से अच्छा हां हां मैं सॉरी सुन रहा हूं देयर आर सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक ऑप्शनल्स होते हैं थर्ड सेम में यू मे हैव मैक्रो था बिग डेवलपमेंट था सॉरी इंटरनेशनल 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 इकोनॉमी था इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एप्लीकेशंस वन वाज अनदर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट एंड इको ड्रिक्स मेथड मेथड्स इकोनोमेट्रिक्स मेथड्स लॉ एंड लॉ एंड इकोनॉमिक्स था इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ हेल्थ एंड एजुकेशन एंड इकोनॉमिक्स ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन so yes, in the co structure mm-hmm. nahi the co structure they have a lot of subjects given behavioral economics and all of this but we asked them finance so, can, so, so they have finance ha uh, finance ko main kaise bhul sakta hu yes okay they also have the bhul gaya sab kuch nahi finance ko main hum log kyun bhul sakte hain usko to wo bhulne lag subject hai nahi ठीक है कोई बात नहीं अच्छा We have three compulsory subjects, which is micro two, macro macro one, and econometric methods one. Just just methods. Then two optionals you have to choose out of three, which is time series. We will offer time series, sampling, and uh, group identities. So five of us chose sampling. Aditi Aditi and I chose sampling. I think Radha has taken group identities, and almost everyone takes time series. And these subjects can change semester to semester. Third semester we were offered more. and fourth semester we were also offered subjects like economics of conflict game theory 2 yeah. um eco tricks uh, uh, applications econometric applications to uh, so yeah so like uh, mathematical programming uh, then we have oh, hybrid programming also le- mathematical programming ma'am is like optimization methods like linear programming simplex all those uh, techniques so yeah so we have such options you get more and more options in third and fourth semester and if you choose a project So you only have four so four subjects to choose out of seven subjects. Let's say in the last semester. Oh, okay. ठीक है. So आप लोग तीनों ने you all of all three of you opted for placements. Yes, ma'am. We are yes, all placed. You're all placed. And what average packages गए ISI में इस साल? I think that is MS, uh, MSQE का I think eighteen to nineteen lakhs uh, average होगा. क्या फर्क है तो आपके सी टी सी में बहुत कुछ एड रहता है वेरिएबल कॉम्पोनेंट फिर वो जो 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 सीटीसी सी सी एंड व्हाट यू एक्चुअली गेट इज वेरिएबल कॉम्पोनेंट एंड ज्वाइनिंग बोनस एंड Yes. समझ गए समझ गए ओके सो द रिशब गॉट एन इंटरनेशनल प्लेस अबुदाबी यस रियली रियली सब अबुदाबी जा रहे हैं यस मैम इट हैपेंड वाह क्या बात है दैट इज सो गुड दैट इज रियली नाइस व्हेन आर यू ऑल स्टार्टिंग योर जॉब्स आई आई गेस जुलाई जुलाई July, yes yeah, i think I 15th july from 15th july that's the official Files date from june okay aapka jo and aap log ka where what are your locations rishab aditi rishab ka to we know that Mine and uh, sorry rajat aur aditi ka yeah, ma'am uh, uh, they haven't uh, mentioned but I, it is mostly in gurgaon gurgaon okay 
Rajat, I think mine will be mostly Mumbai. Mumbai. So, मतलब yeah. companies are coming from all over uh, location. Uh, yes. Yes. Like Bombay, Gurgaon companies, which are probably the hubs from where people go. Yes. They're all coming Had- to uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Pune. Uh, yeah. I I think uh, I don't uh, Kolkata se ek do hai. Mm-hmm. So, Kolkata mostly, bahut, uh, mostly outside. Yeah, mostly Bangalore. Mo- Mo- financial firms are mostly from uh, Mumbai. So, okay. Yeah. And aapke bad se koi PhD ke liye kisi, abhi kya sat for uh, when for PhD? Is it? No, no, no. Yeah, I mean, I think he's mostly thinking to go for PhD after one or Two years, yes, but yeah, uh, uh, but I the reason I uh, shared his name with you because uh, he uh, he did quite a quite a bit of research for okay. PhD. So anybody so, opted for PhD out of your batch? No, not, not right now. But because it's very tough to apply for PhD right when you're in your college because you have you still haven't completed a research project with professor. You have to take GRE. You have to apply. Uh, you have to have a very strong application. So most of the people idly wait for another year. For instance, our seniors, our our immediate seniors, this year they got a PhD opportunity. So one of the seniors, Opumik. He got into Cornell University, okay. and he had also got into I think uh, UCSD earlier. And there is another student who got uh, some uh, PhD opportunity in Barcelona, Spain. I don't remember the college, but either way, like the seniors are getting PhD this year. So ideally, it's 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 not impossible. You can get a PhD opportunity while you're in your second year, but mm-hmm. like you are t- working on either for placements or your study, so you don't get the time to immediately apply for PhD. Okay. I mean, a trade-off will uh, happen in third semester. You have to do a project. I mean, you have to dedicate yourself to a project, and which will convert into thesis in the fourth semester. So, Abhijan, he has projects and he has done a thesis bhi kar liya and he got even placed. So, he is thinking of working for two years and then coming back. And this is an advantage with ISI that with teachers, ke mein we can keep in uh, touch. They will help us even after uh, leaving ISI. So, okay. They usually, oh, no. ma'am, they, ma'am, they encourage us to take JRF, like the Junior Research Fellowship. So yeah. there, you talk to the professors, and then they will tell you that you take, take JRF, and then you can work under me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. If you have a specific particular area that you want to go to, that really helps. If you already know that this is what I want to do, yeah. then it will be easier for you to decide where, under whom you want to, perhaps, uh, you know, do your PhD in case you want to. Ma'am, if it's like pure economic theory, pure microeconomic theory, then you have to choose either like social choice theory or something microeconomic related. But if you go to more macroeconomics, you need like, for instance, the problem is the macro professors do not take students for project. Like we could not approach any of the macro professors. And macro is more dynamic. You need more uh, quantitative tools like dynamic programming and all of that to actually work under a macro uh, project. So macro projects are not handed out to students. We, like nobody can take a macro project. Okay. Hmm. All right. So I guess, guys, that's enough information. For the students, and they have a pretty good good idea about what they can get at ISI. And uh, to everyone, their exams are going on, but still they gave us uh, took out time to discuss this with you. So thank you all of you so much, Rajat, Aditi, and Rishab. And take care, Rishab. Abu Dhabi jana ho to Rishab ko pakar lena. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, guys. All the best for your exams. Take care okay. and see you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank bye, you so much bye. for having us. Bye. bye. bye.